Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be cleaning my van wheels with my hydro shot but we're going to be doing it with a bottle of coke no it's going to be water please subscribe and please share and don't forget do check out the description below because there may be something down there that may interest you anyway we'll get right on with the video Right guys, the main thing we're going to be using is the hydro shot for cleaning the wheels off. But we're going to be connecting this. And in this little bit of film I'm going to show you now is how we join them together. Because at the moment, that's how it comes standard. And as you can see, it won't connect. Bottle cap connector. And there you go. It's very simple. This goes into your bottle. And that connects to your works. First, you need a 17 mil spanner, just to take off this piece. There is a filter in there, so be careful. Keep the filter in there. You don't need it for this piece, but obviously you suck at some duff water. You do need that filter. And all we do is screw it in. Very simple. And then obviously, you know what's next. You just connect your water which is a pop bottle this as you can see it's a coca-cola bottle and we just screw it in now one of the products we're going to be using to clean my wheels because i'll tell you straight these wheels haven't been claimed for what a good six months okay i've deliberately left them like that because i wanted to make sure that you see the hydro shot for what it is actually good at but with a little bit of a twist using coke no i'm only using water this is auto wheel it's by bill ammer now this is a really good product i will say before the outset of the video please be careful if you've got lacquered wheels and with a chip in this will take your lacquer off though it quite clearly says non-acid believe me this stuff is strong now we're going to start by just spraying it all over the wheels and that's how we're going to do it and then we'll just let it drool on there and let it go a nice ready color once you've got that ready color you're almost ready to go now one important thing guys your center caps if you've got a little center cap in the middle now you'll need to cover these over with tape or just remove them from the wheel because they will deteriorate the wheel because if you have a look and you can see where it's deteriorated around the edges. First thing we do is spray around the wheels. Make sure you get into everywhere. Now we're going to let them drool until they go a nice purpley colour. Now you can get your hydro shot and clean off the wheels. Now you've done that, you want to get your snow foam attachment and spray your wheel over with snow foam. This just makes great lubrication. And now what you want to do is get yourself a very small brush. You can get these detailing brushes off of uh, eBay or Amazon. And th this is the best thing for doing your wheels, especially the smaller areas. Now if you use the smaller detailing brushes, you can now use your bigger ones so you can get into the back of the wheel and also get right behind the back of those spokes. I will share the link below in the description of the brushes and where you can get them from. And always make sure you've got plenty of lubrication so you don't damage your wheels.
Now you've used all the brushes, now you can use the cloth and wash it round as though you're washing the car. Best to use two buckets for this. You just make sure you don't get any grime going back onto the sponge or the cloth that you're using. Now take your hydro shot and rinse it all off. Now you've rinsed it all off, you want to get yourself some detailing spray. This just helps to move the water and get a nice clean cloth and dry them down. And there you go guys. Well, there you go, guys. It's simple as that. And as you can see, the Coke bottle come into its own. Now, weirdly enough, when you use the Hydra shot and the water from a Coke bottle, because it's so direct, it's more pressure than it would be off the hose. So it's just to take into consideration just a little tube and a bottle. The water is going direct to in and it's coming out a much faster speed clever bit of stuff well guys i hope you enjoyed that video please subscribe and please share and don't forget in the description below there may be some links down there that may interest you or not whichever the case may be and we'll see you again very shortly on the crazy baker channel laters this is the crazy baker channel baking lifestyle recipes reviews i am the crazy baker please subscribe and please share laters